Hey guys, my name is Marco and I'm a software engineer based in Oslo, Norway. At work I'm a backend developer, but in my free time I have a lot of different side projects and this vlog is about one of those. So I wanna take you through my day, show you around the city and give you a sneak peek into my codebase. Also this is the first time I'm using the new camera for vlogging, so sorry about the shaky footage. This video is sponsored by Surfshark. Public Wi-Fi networks are not secure, and since I don't want anyone snooping my internet traffic, I use Surfshark VPN because it encrypts my online data and keeps me safe on public networks. I started using them some time ago when I was traveling to Stockholm, not only because of security but also to get better deals on my hotel and travel expenses. And not only that, simply by changing your location, but you can access different shows on Netflix or even websites that are completely geo-blocked. There is no risk in trying Surfshark VPN. They have a 30-day money-back guarantee. Additionally, Additionally, you can purchase and take advantage of other Surfshark products such as Alert, Antivirus and Search. For you guys, I managed to secure an 83% discount if you use the promo code with Marco with 3 extra months for free, so make sure to check out the link in the description. Ok, so let me quickly show you my side project. It's actually a free window manager for the Mac that you can download and the link is in the description. And here's how it works, you can basically drag a window to one of the sides and it will snap. But today I wanted to implement one of the most highly requested features, which is the keyboard shortcuts. Typically, this kind of stuff is implemented using a command pattern and I didn't really want to reinvent the wheel here, so I just went with the tried and true. I made a small detour to ask ChatGPT how to get the letter on the keyboard that was pressed from a keyboard event, but I quickly regretted it because it gave me back some code that doesn't really exist, and also for the rest of the code the Apple developer documentation was horrible, so I just gave up on it and I started logging every single keyboard event so that maybe in the future I'll figure it out. From there I went on to implement the rest of the command pattern and I realize I'm using each file as almost like a singleton in Swift which I know is wrong but this is a side project and I can afford to make these silly choices. And all that was left to do is to register the window manager module to receive all the commands and then snap the window when the snap window command is received. And of course my day wouldn't be complete if I didn't make silly syntax errors. But I mean yeah, let's test it out. I'll have to clean up this code later, but for now I just decided to do some copy pasta because I was way too excited and I wanted to support the right arrow key as well. One final thing I wanted to do is get the new mouse. I mean, I already have a mouse, but it's kind of small for my hand and I didn't really notice at first, but it, it was very uncomfortable to use. So let's head out to Meyerstun station to catch the train and then we're gonna get the mouse on Sturo and then I'm gonna head home and unbox it. I got confused at this point because I didn't really know that there is a special version for the Mac. Like, well, like, what's the actual difference, guys? Do you know? Let me know in the comments. 